All right, day three for Bible school, you were talking about Jesus' birth all the way through his resurrection. So for snack, there's going to be Christmas cookies. You can decorate them with sprinkles or icing. And resurrection brownies that you can also outline in icing. For crafts, it's called crisscross. The toddlers in pre-primaries are going to have a outline that they are going to color in, kind of like stained glass, glue it on a piece of 4 by 6 cardboard. Then they're going to wrap black cord, black yarn around it and tape it on the back. But the older kids are going to make this craft. You need two 4 by 6 pieces of corrugated cardboard. Make sure it's the thick kind. They're going to glue them together. Then you're going to take painter's tape or masking tape and go around the outside of it, creating a frame. Once you have the frame on there, you're going to glue a piece of 4x6 craft foam on top of that. It doesn't matter what color. On top of the craft foam goes the paper from the resource DVD. It's got the names of God written in different fonts. That goes on top there. There's also 13 little black dots. The kids are going to take clear push pins and stick in each of the dots. It's going to create a cross shape, but make sure to remind them not to wiggle their push pins around or it loosens the holes and they'll fall out. But with the two pieces of corrugated cardboard, it makes it thick enough where the push pins can't get pushed and poke you in the fingers. After you've made your cross shape, the kids are going to use rainbow loom bands to make the crisscross design. You start by doing the outside edge of the whole cross. This craft takes a little bit longer, but it's, I think, one of the coolest ones they'll make this year. So once you've got the whole cross outlined, you're then gonna make individual squares. And you'll end up with six squares. So put a band through the middle, creating six squares. After you have your squares, then they're going to take the bands and they're going to crisscross them through each individual square. And you end up with the finished product looking like this. For the science experiments, they're going to make their own marble tracks. You can use foam pipe insulation or just empty cardboard tubes paper towel tubes, they can either duct or tape them on a wall or duct tape them onto a piece of cardboard. Talking about the Romans, how they invented roads, they're going to make their own roads. They're also going to do a balancing act with a hammer, a ruler, and a rubber band trying to find the center of gravity and balance it on a table. That's day three.